Hello youth, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, seniors, congratulations, you're done. Uh, you get an extra week and I know some of you uh, had your graduation ceremonies very recently. I hope it was very good. Um, and you're off to a new adventure and uh, I hope you take some much, much well-deserved uh, rest before you get off to those adventures. Um, the rest of you, school it does not have much longer for the year. We're swiftly approaching summer. Uh, and this is your midweek encouragement for this kind of summery feeling week. Um, just to remind you guys real quick, uh, there is no youth group this week or the following week, um, but we will have grogs on the 18th. So uh, keep eyes online for that and I'll give you guys some more information as that gets closer. Uh, we're gonna continue in Proverbs where we're looking at uh, the book of Proverbs and what Proverbs has to teach us about wisdom. And today we're actually going to meet wisdom uh, because I told you guys at the beginning, the book of Proverbs presents wisdom as a character. Um, not just an idea or a concept or a thing to have, but an actual character who, as we will see, uh, might be a little more familiar than we would expect, but maybe is coming in a different uh, concept and package here. So uh, we're in Proverbs chapter one, starting in verse 20. It says, wisdom cries aloud in the street and in the markets, she raises her voice. At the head of the noisy streets, she cries out, and at the entrance of the city gates, she speaks. I'll stop there. We meet wisdom, and wisdom is portrayed as this woman, Lady Wisdom. And this is in contrast to the, the enticing sinful men earlier in the chapter, in, the, in what we talked about last week, those who uh, lie in wait for unjust gain. Uh, Lady Wisdom stands in contrast to these type people. Uh, and, and what she is doing is, is the exact opposite of those, of those uh, greedy for unjust gain. She's public. <clears throat> She's out in public. Uh, she, she is where everyone can see her. She's in the streets, in her comings and goings. She's in the market where people are doing business. And she's at the head of the streets and in the gates where uh, the, the wise people and, and those who are deciding and making judgments for the people would have gathered to talk about those judgments. So Lady Wisdom is present in the situations where people need wisdom uh, the most in their lives. So... Uh, Lady Wisdom is visible, and it says that she is making an appeal. And this is the appeal that Lady Wisdom gives uh, to those who hear her, and in our specific case, to us, uh, and the, the uh, son who is being spoken to in the book of Proverbs. She says, How long, O simple ones, will you love being simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing and fools hate knowledge. If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make my words known to you because I have called and you refuse to listen, have stretched out my hand and no one has heeded because you have ignored all my counsel and would have none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when terror strikes you. When terror strikes you like a storm and your calamity comes like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but will not find me, because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Would have none of my counsel and despised all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their way and have their fill of their own devices. For the simple are killed by their turning away, and the complacency of fools destroys them. But whoever listens to me will dwell secure, and be at ease, and will have no dread of disaster. <clears throat> Her call is to the simple ones, the scoffers, and the foolish. And, and this call, first of all, implies that we need to respond to wisdom. When we are met with wisdom in our lives, when someone imparts wisdom, whether it is from the word of God or it is wisdom like outside of the word of God, whether it's from our parents or teacher or another loved one or someone we trust, 
we have to respond to that wisdom. It's not just like a download that we instantly get and it, and it takes instant effect. We must respond to wisdom. And when we do that, specifically in the context of Proverbs, when we respond to this wisdom that comes from the Lord, Lady Wisdom says that she will pour out her spirit on us. Um, and, and this spirit of wisdom and this, this phrase, pour out my spirit, is used elsewhere in the Bible in, in the book of Joel. And later in the book of Acts, Luke takes Joel's use of it and pulls it over into Acts. And it is used, this pouring out my spirit is used to point forward to and in the, in the realization of the coming of the Holy Spirit to dwell on believers, those who've put their faith in Jesus. And we, <clears throat> we see this exact same language being used by Lady Wisdom. I will pour my spirit of wisdom out on you. And so wisdom is presented to us in Proverbs as both a facet of God's character, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and a, a standalone character, Lady Wisdom. It is presented as, as both and set side by side and said that those who call upon those who respond will be given this spirit of wisdom to interact and, and do um, these type things. So, but if we do not respond to Lady Wisdom, it says that wisdom makes the calamity of the fool seem even more foolish. It's like you got this guy who is doing his own thing and it, you know, they, they know what the right thing to do is, but they just, you know, they, they, they scoff at it and they squander it and they poo poo it. And then when, when they're met with the end result and the wisdom was so close, that calamity just seems so much worse. And that's kind of what wisdom is getting at here. Um, and their anguish is much worse because when, when you are so close to what could have been good, it makes the anguish of what was missed much greater. We should seek wisdom now that the time is right because wisdom seems to indicate there will be one day where we really want to seek it out and it'll be too late because we did not have the wisdom beforehand. Those who spurn God's wisdom will be allowed, Lady Wisdom says, to reap what they sow. If you know spiritual wisdom or have someone give you spiritual wisdom and you do not respond to the call and you continue to push it away and say, no, no, I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm gonna, I, I reject, I reject, I move forward with this other thing, then you will get what you want. You're not going to get the, the last minute like, well, I guess you're exempt from the, the end result of those, those desires. You will get it. Um, in this chapter, uh, it says that, that what they sow, earlier on in chapter one, what we talked about last week, it says that um, these lie in wait for their own blood and they set an ambush to their own lives. It is, it is one's own personal destruction, both both in their life as they go about in the streets and in, are in the market and in the decisions they make, but also in their spiritual lives, um, having not had this spirit of wisdom. So those who ignore a wisdom turn away to their own detriment. But to respond to wisdom, besides having the spirit of wisdom poured out, it says that they dwell secure. They are at ease and they have no dread of disaster. And I want to note something here. This does not say that there is no disaster and there isn't insecurity and they, they don't have like bad things coming up that they have to face. But when they do, they are at ease, they dwell secure, and they don't have dread of those things. That is the peace that wisdom from the Lord can impart in our lives. Um, whereas those who spurn this and reject it and, and have no time for the wisdom of God, they, it all falls apart. They pull the bottom card out and the thing kind of, it doesn't make sense. And then it, it, those trials are even more difficult. 
Um, and so this is the end of chapter one of the book of Proverbs. We're just going to continue to push through. But we've met Lady Wisdom, who is both this, this picture of God uh, and also a character of, of God's character traits in the book of Proverbs, who is going to stand in contrast to other characters um, to teach us something about what it means to have the wisdom of the Lord. So I hope this finds you guys well. Um, we'll miss you guys this Sunday. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Love you guys. Take care.